So this is a track that was inspired uh, in part by Stevie Wonder's Boogie On Reggae Woman. And I also wanted to use some effects here to further illustrate how you can emulate a synth bass while still playing a bass guitar. So the two effects that I have going on on this track, I have, I have an octave pedal. And you can still hear the bass mixed with the effect. So it tracks that pretty well, but then to sweeten it a little bit and to give it more of like a sort of like a vocally synthy, like wah kind of thing, I put an envelope filter on it. And so what that does is it gives it. Kind of makes that has a nice little like vowel on the end of the note. And envelope filters, once you once you get used to using them and it sort of reacts to your touch like if there's a sensitivity knob so if I'm playing so it can be a really uh, expressive and effective way to make the line uh, speak but speaking of lines let's talk about what's going on with this bass part so uh, we're in a flat and what's happening here is the line is basically outlying the uh, the triad. So, except what I'm doing is I'm hammering on from the B flat to the C, which gives it. Uh, it's kind of propelling the groove. So we have, and then there's a walk up I'm doing from the G flat. And then I'm peppering this with some uh, some ghost notes. So. So, and there's a little bit of a tag at the end. And so what I'm doing there is, um, I'm pulling off. And that's it. And the biggest thing about that is you want to make sure you don't play that too quickly. It's got to sort of sit there, so. And the thing that anchors that is the part where you're going from B flat to A flat to uh, F. That part. One, two, three. So practice it like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you can put them together. And also, I should I should point out that I'm using a pull off here, and then I'm doing a, um, a rake. So it's super economical. Um, that's something that you definitely want to practice a little bit slower. So even if you're playing that groove, and you're tight with the um, with the groove itself and the ghost notes then like adding that in, that's probably the real challenge. Okay, so then moving on from that, there's like a set of changes. So we start in an A flat. Then we go to D flat. So D flat seven. B flat seven. E flat seven, back to our groove in A seven, A flat seven. So there, there you have it. That's uh, this one's called Boogie, and it's you know homage to Stevie Wonder's classic song. I uh, hope you had a fun time working on it.